Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will talk about for loop. This is also another kind of for loop. This is kind of a loop. So in this for loop, it has three parts. We do the initialization. The second one is called checking the condition. And the third one is called either you wanted to increment or decrement. So here in the for loop, you define all the three things. And each of them is separated by a semicolon. And now, if whatever the steps that you want to write, you can write it here. So this is called as the for loop. Everything you define at the same place. If you compare this with while loop, what we do is we only check the condition here and we initialize it before that and then we increment it inside the loop. Here, what happens is you initialize here, you condition, you check the condition and you increment. So how does this work? Let's do an example of that. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the for loop now. So I'm going to go ahead and say change it to for demo and let's say for now let's say the condition the variable initialization i is equals to 1 i less than equals to 10 and i plus plus and then I'm going to say system dot of debug value of i. So what I've done here is I have initialized with i integer i is equals to 1. So it is the value got initialized with 1. Now it checks the condition 1 less than equals to 10. Is that true? Yes. So it will come inside this while loop. And then we are going to do i plus plus. So then it's going to be increment the value of i by 1. So that is going to be i plus plus. So what's going to happen here is if you go back. So we have said for integer i is equals to 1 we initialize with 1 i less than equals to 10 and i plus plus these are the three parts of the for loop now here what we have said is we have said okay right now the value of i is 1 okay and we are checking we are going to display one, i here okay and then now we are, increment is here condition is here initialization is here i is equals to 1 is i less than equals to 10 is this true yes this is true 1 is less than equals to 10. That is true. Now it's going to go ahead and print 1. So what we're going to do, it's going to go ahead and print 1. Now we are saying i++. plus plus. So now we are incrementing the value of i by 1. So now the new value of i is 2. It's, now this part won't execute again. Okay. Now it's going to go ahead and check the condition. 2 less than equals to 10. Okay. Is 2 less than equals to 10? Yes. It will go ahead and print i again. i will be 2. Now it will go ahead and do this i++. plus plus. Now what is the new value of i? i became 3 here. This is not going to execute. Initialization is done. 3 less than equals to 10. Is this true? Yes, this is true. It's going to go ahead and print system i. So it's going to go ahead and print i here. What is 3? 3 plus plus. So now the new value of i is 4. Now 4 is less than equals to 10. Yes. So it's going to go ahead and till 4. So we'll see till 9 it has printed. So now let's say the value of i is 9. 9 is less than equals to 10. Yes. So it has printed 9. Now 9 plus plus. Now 9 became 10 now. So new value of i is 10. Now 10 is equals, less than equals to 10. Yes. 10 is equals to 10. So it's going to go ahead and print 10 one more time. Now 10 plus plus. So now the new value of i is 11. Okay. 11 is less than equals to 10. No. That's not true. So it will going to go ahead and execute. So this is about the for loop. So now if you go back and execute this, we're going to go ahead and say So now we're going to go ahead and execute this loop. So we'll say debug open execute and this is the loop for demo. I'm going to say execute. Say debug it's going to go ahead and print up to 10. Similarly, we can say i is 5. Similarly, we can do that. Now, what's going to happen? It's going to run the loop 5 times. Okay, 1, 2, 3. So, it's going to go ahead if you do that. I'm going to, if you execute it one more time, it's going to say 1, 2, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is about the for loop. So, when you want to run the Thing more than once then you go for loops please go ahead and do all these examples and I also will add some assignments at the end of this uh, section so please work on those assignments and I'll see you in the next tutorial till then thank you